Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 5 training part one. In this training module, we're gonna take a look at how to install our VCM software suite to begin our training course. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at how to download our VCM software suite. The VCM software suite is going to allow us access to the VCM editor software and the VCM scanner software. Both software are gonna be needed in order to properly calibrate and use for data analysis purposes on your GM Gen 5 vehicles. So we wanna make sure we install this properly. It's gonna be a very basic video showing you where to download from. So if you haven't installed the software on your laptop yet, how to do that, and then how to go in and create a shortcut link into your taskbar down here to access the software very easily. You're gonna be popping into the software frequently doing the calibration and tuning on your Gen 5 vehicle. So the first thing we need to do is jump to the HP Tuners website. We can tap the top of my browser. I have punched in hptuners.com. Now on our front page of the website, we're gonna move into our download section. We can find it right here. Let's click on the download link. It's gonna take us to a new page. Under the download section, we have two different options to download our VCM software suite. We have a VCM suite, latest stable version. We also have download VCM suite and a beta version. Now the way that HB Tuners is going to work, it's essentially the same software suite across many different vehicle types. So you'll find the software is going to support Fords and GMs and Dodges and Subarus and Nissans and Toyotas and VWs and Porsche. There's all kinds of different manufacturers the software is going to support. Because of that, they have different engineers and different sections of HB Tuners that are working on and calibrating the software, constantly making updates. When we go in and take a look at something like the beta version of the software, this can be updated multiple times in a day. So meaning there's gonna be new software versions available if you're on the beta. Now I typically stick with the latest stable version whenever possible because it's less buggy and it typically doesn't have any issues. But the beta is sometimes needed if you're dealing with something that's having rapid uh, development done on it. So for example, if they come out with something new, um, let's say it's a Porsche application and the Porsche calibration engineers at HP Tuners are constantly making updates. You may find in a single week, there's several different beta versions of the software updated to be able to include certain tables, features or functions in the software so that you're able to access those for calibration purposes. So the GM typically We'll find the stable version is going to include everything that we need and we don't need to work with the beta version of the software. I do have another training course in our training library. It's for HP Tuner's Subaru specific. In the Subaru specific training course, we use the beta software because there is a lot of updates that get pushed out for the Subaru specific software suite in this beta format or the beta version. So. Um, dealing with a Subaru application, you're gonna to have to go and deal with the beta version, which I've talked about in that training course. In this specific training course, I'm gonna stick with downloading the stable version because typically the GM stuff is going to be um, not as rapidly developed. There's not as many updates as I've, I've usually find over, let's say, a week's time or a month's time. It's not a bad idea every few weeks to maybe download the latest stable version. You'll find that they will put out new versions relatively frequently. It may or may not benefit you from getting the latest stable version, but I like to go in every once in a while and download uh, the, the stable versions if I'm working with something like a GM or a Ford application that don't have as rapid uh, development in the beta format. So let's go in here to the VCM suite. I'm gonna go and download this option here. We can see it's downloading up at the top right now. It's gonna take probably about a minute or two to download. My internet connection is uh, not too bad with my location here, so I'm gonna let it download. As soon as it's completed, we'll continue on with our tutorial here and learn how we can then extract this setup file and bring the software suite onto our laptops. Okay, so we can see the file has downloaded. I'm gonna click in my open file link right here for that file to open and start to install. We can see it's going to start that auto installation process here with our setup wizard. So in this particular window here, we're just gonna click next, initiating we wanna start with the software installation onto our computer. We're gonna to agree to the terms of service and the license agreement here. So I'm gonna go and click that box and click next. And then we're gonna pay attention to where it's installing the folder for our HP Tuner's VCM software suite. We can find it in our C drive, program files, x86, HP Tuner's VCM suite. This is gonna be the 
auto installation location for the folder. Now you can install it anywhere you like, so you can actually change the location if you'd like here. I leave it default in that specific location. That's typically where most aftermarket software is going to be installed. So if you're installing, let's say, standalone software like an AM Infinity or a Holly, let's say a Dominator or Terminator X software, we're gonna find that they typically install in that same location. So I like to just group everything together in one location if I need to go and source or find that particular software. So that's gonna be the folder it's gonna create right here. We're gonna click Next. And then finally, we're gonna click Install and let it do its installation process. This is relatively quick, usually takes less than a minute for the installation process. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos are gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.